Hey guys, thank you very much for joining me. Uh, I hope you are all well. So I finally, finally received some new Black Series figures. I cannot for the life of me remember what wave this is, what wave we're up to. But um, as you can see there, once again it looks like uh, the Courier has been playing football with these packages. Um, you've probably already own or have seen these figures plenty of times before, but I thought I would give you my my thoughts on these anyway. So here we go, a case of eight figures, and yeah, as I thought, not good, not good at all. Hopefully, that's the only damaged, uh, the only damaged one in this case. So the case assortment is one damaged Moff Gideon. Can't wait to crack this guy open and have a closer look. Been looking forward to picking up this figure for a while. And then we have one non-damaged Moff Gideon. So two Moff Gideons per case. And we have a Grief Karga. Another Grief Karga. Uh, we've got Quill. And I think there's another, yeah, there's another Quill, so two Quills in this case as well. And then the last two figures is a single packed Armourer, which unfortunately is damaged as well. It doesn't matter because I will be opening that. And then last up, we have a single packed Dark Ray for some reason. Alright, I will uh, be unboxing four of the five different figures from this wave. I will not be unboxing Dark Ray because I have zero interest in anything to do with the rise of Skywalker. And I have no interest in collecting anything to do with the rise of Skywalker. So that figure can burn in hell as far as I'm concerned. And um, let's start off with Quill. So I will give you a look at uh, each of the, the packaging for each figure. And then I will unbox them and give you a closer look at the figures. So I, I'm still iffy about this, this new packaging. I don't like that one angled side. I like the additions of the uh, the colour to the grayscale art and the the matching colours for each of the uh, the different films and I like how they've reintroduced the uh, the top window so next up is the armourer from season one of the Mandalorian I don't think we no didn't see uh, the armor in season two at all. There's a description of the character on the back. If you want to pause that and have a, a read, pretty brief. So very nice. And we have grief Karga, played by Mr. Carl Weathers. I think he actually, uh, was it season one or season two that he directed an episode as well? I can't remember now which season it was. I think it was season two. Um, yep, and there is Grief Karga's character description. And then last up, and probably the figure that I was most looking forward to from this wave, Moff Gideon. Moff Gus Fring. Really looking. Has he got a bit of a wonky eye there? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, really looking forward to having a closer look at this guy. Look at that. He definitely. Giancarlo Esposito definitely plays a good bad guy. And just before I give you a closer look at the the new figures from this wave, I'd like to say a few a few words uh, on Gina Carano. 
the uh, actress who played Cara Dune in The Mandalorian, who was cancelled. Uh, it's been a few weeks now since she was she was cancelled by by Disney and or Lucasfilm. Why those those companies um, kowtow to idiotic cancel culture SJWs, people that that sit on Twitter all day trying to get people cancelled for the most trivial of of matters um, is mind boggling. Uh, they just started getting Star Wars fans back on side a little bit after the debacle that was the the sequel uh, movies. And then they go and do something like this to a, a fan favourite. So um, I'm, I'm a little bit concerned about the future. Or I'm very concerned about the, the future of Star Wars going forward. But anyways, on to the, uh, these new figures. And we'll start off with Quill and his blaster rifle. I tried, I did a really quick Google search trying to find out what model or what sort of blaster this is. But I could not find anything. So if anyone uh, knows, please... Let me know what it is in the comments down below. Um, interesting how they've sculpted the strap as a separate piece, as as opposed to having it all, the weapon and the strap, um, all as one piece. I like that. So, uh, not too bad. And the figure himself. How cool does that look? So, Quill is obviously an Ugnaught species that we first saw in the greatest movie of all time, The Empire Strikes Back. And um, I'm a little bit disappointed that we didn't actually get a, an Ugnaught for the uh, last year, for the 40th anniversary of The Empire Strikes Back, but I digress. This guy looks cool. I, uh, I didn't realise that his cap came off, actually, until I tried to pull it off just then. And um, that's really nice, really nice. Uh, the goggles are moulded onto the cap, though. This... I don't know why they... They moulded the, the scarf thing and the backpack as one piece. Uh, I guess that's not a huge issue. And then the rest of the figure is pretty basic. Sort of pastel colours used there. I like how they're uh, sort of doing the knees these days, hiding the joint at the front, although it may sort of uh, hinder the articulation a little bit, but you know, I think that looks pretty good. So overall, uh, fairly basic, but nicely done, done figure. But I, I really do like that head sculpt. So, well done. So next up we have the armorer who uh, forged Mando's Beskar armor in season one, and these are her accessories, sort of uh, gripping tong things and a mallet hammer thing. Uh, pretty basic. No real, no paint on them. But the figure itself looks really, really nice. I like that sort of metallic paint on the chest there and on um, the helmet. Um, the shawl thing, I would have, it looks all right, but I would have liked to have seen that be soft goods. As you can see there, just pegs into the back of the figure. It's been painted quite well, although I don't know that it's showing well on the camera. Um, so the rest of the figure, the the sort of leathery tunic parts look nice. The way they have painted that really uh, brings out the texture. Uh, not a very female looking body there. So I don't know what's going on there, but anyway. Um, I like that tunic. Uh, the boots, same sort of thing. Looks really, really nice. Um, now, as I said, with this shawl, it looks nice, but it's not very practical when you start to uh, move the arms around. It really, really hinders the articulation and just wants to pop off straight away. You know, it's bad enough with, with just one, but if you, uh, I mean, I don't know why you'd pose a figure like that, but if you wanted to, it's just going to force that, that shawl to, to pop off. And now let's take a look at Grief Kaga as he appeared in Season 1 of The Mandalorian. He comes with two accessories as well, two little itty bitty blaster pistols. They do have a little bit of paint on the grips there, 
So that is nice. It's not just grey plastic. And as I mentioned earlier, and as everyone already knows, Griff Cargo played by the awesome Carl Weathers. Pretty good likeness there for a figure of this scale, I think. It's getting on a bit, old Carl, but uh, still looks good. Again, like Quill, uh, pretty basic stuff when it comes to his costume. A little bit of texture there in his uh, vest type thing and his pants. The belt has been done quite nicely. But uh, not a whole lot going on there. But it does look good. And yes, these are working holsters. At least one of them is. There we go. Two working holsters. Very nice. So once again, overall, pretty basic figure, but I like it. It's been done quite well. Another excellent addition to the Black Series Mandalorian line of figures. And then last up we have, as I mentioned earlier, the figure that I was most looking forward to from this wave, Moff Gideon. And these are his two accessories. A really, really itty bitty blaster pistol with no paint on it. And the dark saber. Have a look at that. Very cool. And the blade is removable. I didn't break it. So you can see there how they've done the uh, the dark saber effect. It's sort of semi-translucent plastic with a bit of black paint down the middle. And here we go. Moff Gideon. Have a look at that. How cool is that? His armor. Uh, is sort of reminiscent of the, the battle armor that we saw General Veers wear in The Empire Strikes Back and, and Thrawn wear in, in Rebels. And once again, his cape just pegs into the back of the figure. The likeness. The likeness is great. I like how the uh, the contrast of the shiny armor against the, the matte finish of his undergarments or his, his regular clothes. Really, really nice looking figure. He also has a holster, a working holster. So very nice. Uh, paint apps are good. The eyes sort of look a little bit wonky on, on camera here, I think, but in real life they're, they're, they're fine, so I don't know what that is. but. Uh, a really really nice figure I love it okay so before I finish up uh, I forgot to mention at the start of the video that Aussie collectors if you are looking for these figures they are available at outerrimcollectibles.com.au and we also have uh, plenty of other Black Series and uh, Marvel Legends figures from previous waves so head on over there and have a look um, so to sum up, I think this is a pretty good wave of figures, aside from Dark Ray. I don't know why they included that figure in this wave. Maybe they, they'd they already developed it and they just had to get them out there. But uh, I would have rather had seen uh, two armor figures in this case than uh, one armor and one Dark Ray. But anyway, it is what it is. And these four Mandalorian figures are pretty damn good, I think. I can't really... Com playing about much maybe just uh, as I mentioned earlier the uh, the shawl for the armor uh, I would have liked to have seen that be soft goods um, both for the appearance and the practicality of it when it comes to the shoulder articulation but that's just a bit of a nitpick so uh, anyways thank you very much for watching guys uh, if you own these figures let me know what you think of them in the comments down below uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and give this video a like and as always may the force be with you